Hello, I'm Johanna Muigori. I'm a vet by profession. I do consultancy on dairy farming, livestock farming, and uh, I also do clinical services. I offer clinical advices to farmers and also advices on how we can improve our dairy farms and dairy animals in order to derive high and maximum yields. <coughs> so today, I would like to talk about dairy farming, a bit of introduction to dairy farming. And as, as you can see behind me, all at the background, I'm at a starter dairy farm where we are doing dairy farming with like four animals. And uh, what we want to do is to improve bit by bit, bit by bit, until we get to the maximum production. And uh, I want to discuss shortly on the requirements on how to start a dairy farm. And, uh, basic requirements and feeding and the procedures we need to do in order to raise maximum yields. So to start on, on a daily farm, one of the key things that we need to have when starting a daily farm is to know the breed of animals that you want to keep. And as you are aware, we have different breeds of daily, daily animals and daily cattle in this case. We have the freshians, which are the higher producers. We have the ashes, we have the gansies. For example, you want to start a dairy farm and you want to keep freshers. So you want to, you have to know, and you must have a pure breed of fresh. And a pure breed, I mean, it's a crossbreed of fresh and fresh. And that's why you, that's how you be able to get the maximum yields. And uh, in order to realize the higher yields, we have key components in which we have to consider. And one of the major components in dairy farming is feeding. And feeding is how do you do your feeding to animals. And feeding by this case, I mean, how often do you feed your animals and what do you feed your animals with? And uh, to feed your animals, you must have plenty, I mean plenty of feeds. That is the dry matter. And dry matter mostly con contains of, of uh, carbohydrates or energy giving foods which we have uh, like in, in this case we have this and uh, we have uh, sorghum we have uh, uh, barley or wheat those are the major energy sources in animals and also we should also consider the protein protein as feeds that's the rusan the desmodiums and the clover they must be implanted because in order to realize high yields in animals the mix or the balanced diet for animals, that's the balanced ration we call it in veterinary, must be, must be available. So we have to feed the animals in a balanced ration. And a balance that we have carbohydrates, proteins, vitamins, and the minerals. The minerals will be got from the mineral supplements available in our agro and all other sources that we can get. Them. For the protein as feeds, you can either produce them at your farm, or less you can buy and we always recommend farmers plant them and for the daily for the protein as feeds as i had mentioned earlier we have the, the lusan the desmodiums the clover and also to some extent some farmers go ahead to do the beans the beans uh, plantation they are also good for providing the proteins once you have fed your animals well and correctly there's another aspect of disease control in animals in the farm. And disease control in this case, we have to control the, both the external and the internal parasites. And uh, for the external parasites, especially the ticks are the major problem in dairy farm and dairy farming. And the tick control, for this case, we do spraying. For our dairy, dairy farms, we do spraying because the, for dipping, we are very tricky. Or it's if it's if you have the spraying, you have the hard farm, and you can also do the spray race where the animals pass and they are spread all over the land. And for the internal parasites control, you must do the warming, and that's the only case we need. In the warming, you will be able to eliminate the, the internal parasites. And by so doing, we shall be having our animals in good body condition, and the production will be very high. And we want to improve the bit by bit. And uh, if you these animals you see here 
and they have a potential for using 45 liters per day. And to realize the 45 uh, liters per day, it's not a walk in the park. You have to work. Make sure the animals are disease free. Make sure the animals are fed correctly. And make sure that the environment the animal lives in is also clean. And also to add on that, so they should have a constant supply of fresh and clean water. And by that, we will have the high production of And uh, another case in uh, daily farming is uh, the notifiable diseases, which are very serious in when it comes to the family. And in the notifiable diseases, other than now the, the foot and mouth disease and the and the anthrax and all that, we have a disease affecting the daily farms, which is a major problem, and that's mastitis. Mastitis mostly comes with hygiene, hygiene of the daily, daily farm, hygiene of the milk, of the animal handlers, especially milking, and also for the machines. And for machine milking, it's you have to clean the teat cups when you before milking and after milking. That's to ensure that the animals will be the teeth or the service of the milking machine in contact with the teeth is always clean. For the hand milk milkers, the hand must be clean, wiped and dry, dried and also the teeth of the animals or the other must be very clean and washed thoroughly and dry. So I think with that, I'll stop at that for the introductions. We shall be having more episodes on dairy farming, on pig farming, on poultry farming, and also on uh, goat farming. And uh, you can like us on our pages, that is Sukulima TV, you can find us there. On YouTube, it's Sukulima TV. On Facebook, it's Sukulima TV. On uh, different social media platforms, it's Sukulima TV. So we hope to engage farmers, we hope to engage the stakeholders in dairy farming so that we can have. Pure breeds and you can realize maximum production in our animals.